Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Coming up in just over a week, there will be a public information session on the ongoing contamination cleanup of Houghton Plot. The session will be held by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, the State Department of Health, and Corning Incorporated. Officials will discuss upcoming work in the study area as well as the next steps for that cleanup project. Officials will also meet with property owners beforehand to discuss their soil data in a separate session. The public session will be May 9th at the Radisson Hotel from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The measles, a disease thought to be eliminated from the U.S. back in 2000, is making a comeback. Experts say that is partially due to people opting out of receiving the measles vaccine. This year, there have been 704 measles cases reported in the U.S. so far, most of those in the state of New York. None have been reported so far in the southern tier, however. The Stuben County Health Department would like to keep it that way by letting everyone know about the importance of vaccinations. Since 2010, um, number of cases has been definitely increasing. And again, it's almost exclusively from international travel. Is any, anyone who was born after 1957 needs to be vaccinated. That really is the only way to, to protect yourself against measles. And the reason for the 1957 is before that, before 1957, there was no vaccine. and. Because measles is so contagious, pretty much it's a very safe assumption to assume that someone did have measles as a child. Now, children should get it at age 12 months or older. You don't want to give it before, but the exception is if they're going to be traveling internationally, then they should get it from six months to a year. Now, that dose won't count. And the same thing right now, they are recommending in areas where there are outbreaks that children uh, who are less than a year but are at least six months old also get a dose. Symptoms to look out for are a rash, high fever, cough, runny nose, and red, watery eyes. Two or three days after symptoms begin, tiny white spots may appear inside the mouth. We saw a lot of clouds today and are looking ahead to more rain. Meteorologist Kim Walker is up next with your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, unfortunately, we're stuck in a rut where we're going to see chances of rain for the upcoming days as another storm system makes its way into our area. So chances of rain for tonight as well as into tomorrow. But I think in the morning we are going to see a little bit clearer conditions. Clouds will start to increase. An isolated shower or two could be possible in the morning. And then our chances of rain will return in the evening hours and into the overnight. And there could be a few thunderstorms as we start off the day on your Friday. But overall, we are are going to see temperatures start to warm up. It's going to be a little bit dreary, but again, we could have a few afternoon showers on Thursday. There will be some periods of showers and storms with some heavy rain on Friday, and our rain chances will continue to, into the weekend, but those temperatures will turn cooler as we drop down into at the lower 60s. Tonight, it will be fairly mild with temperatures only dropping down to around 55 in Elmira, 56 in Corning, occasional showers and a few thunderstorms. South southwest winds around 10 miles per hour will push those temperatures up as we head into tomorrow. So we're looking at summer like conditions as we head into your Thursday with highs around 72 degrees in Elmira, 71 in Corning, Mansfield around 73 degrees, just a little bit cooler in Watkins Glen around 60 at 7 degrees. Again, that we could have a few afternoon showers and then we're going to stay warm through your Friday with more chances of rain. In fact, there could be a few thunderstorms that bring some heavy rain over the weekend. We're going to see a little bit of a break, some sunshine on Saturday, but temperatures will be a tad cooler with highs around 64 and then we drop down to around 61 degrees. Cloudy conditions and there could be some rain, especially in the morning and also into the afternoon. Drier conditions as we head into next week with mild temperatures with highs back into the 60s. That's a look at your weather, Scott. All right, thank you, Kim. Jenny the horse trots the streets of Frankfurt, Germany. The Arabian mare usually accompanies residents in the area on their morning walks. When her stable door opens in the mornings, Jenny just wanders out and follows. Locals know and greet her on the cobbled paths of the pedestrian zone. Her owner doesn't worry about the 22-year-old mare getting lost. 
Jenny always returns home to the stable all by herself. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.